This town is the town of Bennington. This town was not granted by New Hampshire's first colonial governor, Benning Wentworth. No, this town was granted by the state of New Hampshire 50 years after the Revolutionary War. And it was named not for Governor Benning Wentworth, but for the Battle of Bennington. It was Franklin Pierce himself who gave the town its name. This was before Franklin Pierce ever became president. Bennington, of course, in Vermont is where the battle where General John Stark from New Hampshire whipped the British under General John Burgoyne was the turning point of the war. Yeah, but you know, the truth be known, the battle itself was not fought in Bennington, Vermont. It was actually fought in Wollumsack, New York. So maybe this place should be called Wollumsack, New Hampshire. The town of Bennington itself, this town, was chartered in 1842. It was made up of lands from Greenfield, Deering, Francistown, but Hancock ceded the largest amount of land, and Hancock didn't want to part with this valuable property. It brought in a lot of taxes. At this time, this place was called Hancock Factory Village. Hancock itself was rural, farms, grazing fields. But the eastern border of the town was the Kentuckuk River, right where the river is the swiftest. It was called the Great Fall and the river fell a full 70 feet in less than a mile. Tremendous water power. Sure enough, in the fall of 1782, a guy named Joseph Putnam built a sawmill and gristmill on the river, and soon there were half a dozen mills in town. To this day, Bennington, New Hampshire, is noted for its industry. Monadnock Paper Mill, which is in town, is the oldest operational paper mill in the entire United States, located right here. Monadnock makes, arguably, the finest papers in the country. Wonderful paper. Anyhow, folks here had little in common with the folks in Hancock. Here they had their own church, and generally they shopped in Antrim, and they wanted to become their own place, and they hired attorney Franklin Pierce to represent them, and he did the job. And as I say, he gave the town its name. So, not for Governor Benning Wentworth, but for the Battle of Bennington, which was not fought in Bennington. Of course, Bennington, Vermont is named for Governor Benning Wentworth. <laughs>